Hello, everyone. My name is Si Yunyuan. I'm an undergraduate student at the University of Warwick at United Kingdom. The paper I will be presenting today is titled An Analyze of the Effect of Social Medical Insurance on Family Consumption. I'm going to present ideas from my research in the following four aspects. Variable selection, ORS estimates, heterogeneity analyze, and eventually conclusion. In order to investigate the effect of having social medical insurance on family consumption in China, I use cross-sectional data from the 2019 China Household Finance Survey, CHFS. The formula at the top is the ORS model I formed followed my topic. This table shows all the variables I will use later to find out the casual relationship between social medical insurance and family consumption. Specifically, I divided the explained variable to family consumption into four degrees, family total consumption, family food consumption, family resident consumption, and family education consumption. I then chose dummy variable of whether the householder of a family has social medical insurance as a explanatory variable. And in total nine control variables that might affect family consumption as well. Within this, work status, rural, financial product, financial advisor are dummy variables. City level is a categorical variable, while family consumption, family income and family assets are all measured in natural logarithm. And the non agriculture household registration is the instrumental variable I chose to prove the casual relationship we found in OLS model. After run the regression, following the OLS method, I found out the results that having social medical insurance has a negative impact on family total consumption at the 1% significant level. Purchasing social medical insurance also contribute to a decline in both family food and family resident consumption, while an increase in family education consumption. But are there any explanations for this phenomenon? Well, I think of two that could be considered consistent with this result. Here's the first one, faster recovery. Well, I think having social medical insurance means that people now have better chance to get access to better treatment or better medication in time. So they can be recovered from illness faster or simply having shorter healing period. As a result, the family total consumption is safe from costs involved in long period of healing. Second, Having social medical insurance also means that more people can afford to be hospitalized. Their daily meals are bad, are then provided by the hospital, are not themselves anymore. Therefore, they will lead to lower family food consumption and lower family resident consumption, since the cost is much cheaper in hospital compared to outside in the society. Furthermore, I took a ketogenity analyze of the control variable work status, where it is a dummy variable about the householder of a family, whether the householder has a job or has, does not have a job. So we compare, uh, make a comparison between the groups and the coefficient of families where the householder has a job and families where the householder does not have a job. And what I compared is from the list of variables on this slide. Let's start with the first one, social medical insurance. The coefficient of social medical insurance in the householder who has a job group is minus 0 0.107. Well, it is 0 0.275 in the householder who does not have a job group. This can therefore be deduced that for families where the householder has a job, holding social medical insurance results in a lower reduction in total consumption than families where the householder does not have a job. 
The second one is about the coefficient of family member. It is 0.0787 in the householder having job group, which is, is significantly less than 0 0.150 in the householder not having job group. This implies that increase in one family member in families where the householder has a job increases total family consumption 7.13%, less than in family where the householder does not have a job. The coefficients of second tier city in the two groups is minus 0.216 and minus 0.157 in the two groups respectively. This means that the gap in family total consumption between China's first and second higher city is wider for family where the householder has a job. The coefficient of the third higher city are minus 0.242 and minus 0.218 in the two groups respectively. This suggests that the gap in family total consumption is also wider between China's first and third higher cities where the householder has a job compared to families where the householder does not have a job. The coefficient of rural is zero minus 0 0.286 in the householder who has a job group, but 0 0.546 in the householder who does not have a job group. Because of the insignificance of the group where the householder is without employment, the result only indicates for families where the householder has a job, living in rural areas costs 28.6% less than living in city or towns. The coefficient for long credit card limit is 0 0.118 in the householder who has a job group. Well, it is much higher in much higher than in the householder who does not have a job of 0 0.103. Both groups' cons uh, consumption is positively correlated with credit card limit. This means that families where the householder has a job increase more in total expenditure by having higher credit card limit compared to families where the householder does not have a job. In terms of the coefficient for low family income, it is only significant in the householder has a job group. This means that families where the householder has a job, every 1% increase in their total income lead to 8.51% increase in total consumption. Eventually, we are looking at the coefficient for family loan family assets. It is 0 0.124 in the household has a job group. Well, it is 0 0.118 in the group where the householder does not have a job. It shows that family total consumption increases with family assets, and this positive correlation is greater for families where the householder has a job. In conclusion, after controlling for other variables, the purchase of social health insurance has a significant inverse effect on family total consumption family food consumption, and family resident consumption based on the data I used in my research. OLS uh, regression illustrated that the purchase of social medical insurance significantly reduced family consumption at confidence level of 1% and 5%, respectively. Families where the householder does not have a job enjoy greater benefit in decreasing total family expenditure from holding social medical insurance. China's social medical insurance has indeed contributed to reduce people's total expenditure in terms of a family and people's medical expenses, but the results show a decrease in overall expenditure in the society with, uh, and, and in non-medical expen expenses. Therefore, it's particularly crucial to improve the insurance system in China and to promote an increase in overall spending so that the increase in non-medical expenses will exceed the decrease in medical expenses, eventually to form a greater rate of economic growth in Chinese society. Finally, this paper only analyzed 
CHFS data up to 2019, meaning that changes in the data on COVID-19 outbreaks from 2020 till now are not accounted for. Therefore, this paper could be improved further by including those observations up to 2019. And that's all my presenting for my research. Thanks for listening.